G'day everyone and welcome back to the Sports Not 129 YouTube channel and in today's video we have got my round 13 AFL tips and predictions so yeah we'll check how he went last week um, obviously margin comp margin comps this week is Collingwood and Melbourne um, last week we only got two right, pretty disappointing. Tip the dogs, thought they were going to get the job done, wasn't to be. Tip the crows and the suns, obvious tips. Although North started well, D's lost again, can't believe that really. Never saw that coming. Tip the hawks, thought we could get it done, we were in the game, we probably should have won in the end, but again, wasn't to be. And then tip Brisbane in a real 50-50 and just did not happen for me. So... We can get into this round's tips and predictions. So, first, so it's another buy round six games only, so it might be a bit of a shorter video, but I'll show you more in depth. So, Thursday night footy back this week, which is good. Um, two teams coming off the buy, I think. So, yeah, Richmond, Port Adelaide. Um, look. At Adelaide Oval, it's a real 50-50, but at the G, the Tigers are in some good form. Just lost to Sydney, had the bye last week, I'll tip the Tigers. Port aren't going great, but I'll just tip them by 23 points. Essendon versus Carlton, Friday night. This has got potential. Big crowd, got potential for the Dons, but I can't really see it happening, but you never know, but... Yeah, I tip the Blues. I reckon Charlie Kerno to kick 12 is my big call. Um, yeah, I reckon Charlie Kerno to kick 12. Um, I don't know. 12 plus, actually, not 12, because if he hits tw more than 12 goals. So, yeah, 12 plus goals for the big Charlie. Because um, who are Essendon's cave defenders? They've got maybe Jane Laverde. Um... But yeah, no one really. Key defender. Uh, that's good. Uh, Laverty is okay, but not for a Charlie Kerno in this good of form. So I tip the Blues. I reckon they'll win it pretty comfortably. Now at Optus, 4.10 on a Saturday, we got the Dockers taking on the Hawks. Now, it really. At Optus, there's only one way the Hawks can win, and that's win around the midfield I reckon or out of rebound stuff but if it rains Freo have been found vulnerable we were very good in the rain against Collingwood we were just surging it forward getting territory which is how you need to play but I think Freo might adapt better now than it rains so if it does rain we might have got them at the wrong time so look if it stays dry I think the Dockers will win but yeah, I don't know. I think the Dockers should get the job done. Even if it rains, honestly. But if it's pouring, I might last second and change my tip to the Hawks. Because so I'd back us in if it's, like, pouring. But even if it's just spitting, I'd just sh say, stick with my tip. But, yeah, I might change it last second if it's absolutely pouring. But I probably shouldn't, but I might. Um, but, yeah, I'd hit the Dockers to win by five goals, I reckon. So now, 7.25, Saturday night, we got the Lions taking on the Saints. Look, I think the Lions probably should get the job done at the Gabba, but their defence has been found out of the last few weeks. And there's Max King at the other end, and Tim Memory. Uh, they've got a heap of, like, Cooper Shaw in their eight. Um, and then they've got your small forwards, like Jack Billings, Jade Gresham can, put fo can push forward. Like, their mid can hit the scoreboard, the Saints. So, I do think this will be a dangerous game, but I've just got a gut feeling that the Lions will come out and absolutely flog the Saints. So, I'm going to tip the Lions, but <clears throat> the Saints beat the Lions at the Gabba last year, I'm pretty sure, in the same fixture Saturday night. So, who knows? But I'll tip the Lions. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like the Saints get pumped I don't know why but I just think the lines will be too good because yeah I don't know but it's just a gut feel now on Sunday we've only got the one game because of the game on the Monday which I don't really rate and I reckon if they're gonna have one game on a Sunday 
put it at at least like two twenty, I reckon. Um, get it early, get it over and done with. But oh well. Anyways, it's North taking on the Giants. Look, I think if North are going to win a game, this could be a chance. I think that North could win. However, you probably can't tip him. Like, the Giants' midfield will probably be too strong for a North midfield, but I don't know, because I think North are just... Their skills, but if they do get in top one day, like maybe in a tassy, um, they could get the job done. But uh, for now, I tip the Giants, but... I do have a gut feel that North could win, so don't be surprised if North do win. So now, Monday. I reckon this will be games around. We've got the Pies taking on the Ds. Now, oh, before the season started, there was just a golden rule. Do not tip against the Ds. Well, two weeks ago, that golden rule was still saying. However, I could see myself tipping against the Ds this week. I've got a gut feeling that the Pies could get the job done. I don't know. The Ds might come back and respond and win. But I reckon Stephen May is a big bulk of this. If Stephen May's named, I'll tip the Ds. If Stephen May's not named, I'll tip the Pies. And I don't know if he's going to be named. I might just stick with the Ds. I'm going to tip... Oh, this is going to be a great game. It's Martian Comp game as well. It's going to be a good game. Um, I reckon... Look, Flagmantle and Sydney beat them. Two top eight sides. So, look, I think they'll come out. Pies did it last year in front of a big crowd. It'll be gained around. And I reckon if it's close, the Pies get the job done. But if it's played... Like, Hawthorne took the game on against the Ds. And nearly beat them. Like, they challenged them. So, Pies just take the game on and it works. I reckon they could win easily. But if the game's played on the D's terms, then they'll probably win. But, oh, I think I'm going to tip the D's, but I might change it if Stephen May's out. And even if he plays, I might stick with it. I mean, even if he doesn't play, I might stick with it. But I reckon I might change it to Collingwood. I've just got a gut feeling. But if I change a Melbourne win, I won't be too happy. But, yeah, I tip the Ds, but it's a real 50-50 in my eyes. Anyways, that's the six games done. Thank you all so much for watching Collingwood, Melbourne, Margin Comp. Uh, win of last week was Rochelle Ken, I'm pretty sure. So that's a twice he's won it now. So, yeah, good on him. And, yeah, she's watching. And I'll see you in the next video. I'll try to get a video out. Thursday potentially on what happens if a team finishes on the same percentage and points so if Nate the Knights finished on the same percentage and points what would happen like who would make finals and it's pretty funny I think so potentially video but I don't know what to title it so if you're still watching which I doubt anyone is tell me what I should title it anyways thanks for watching cheers